Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros. Uh, we're going to demonstrate uh, GNU Emacs to you today, and we're going to use it using the uh, keystroke commands that uh, come with the editor. You can use a mouse with Emacs. Uh, it requires a tunneling program like Xming to make it work. Uh, we're not going to cover that today. That's in another video. So we'd like to start off by demonstrating it to you. To edit it, you'll, uh, we're going to type in Emacs, and we're going to type in a file I've already created, road.txt. It's a poem by Robert Frost. Now over here on the left hand side I've got a uh, GNU reference uh, card which you can get at www.gnu.org. It's a very very uh, handy little thing to have. I, I keep it by me all the time. I don't use Emacs that much but uh, I'm going to use it to kind of demonstrate it to you. Okay, I'm going to move it over here. And um, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate the uh, motion, the keyboard motion. I'm going to use the arrow keys, and uh, you're not going to see those. Uh, just using the right arrow, the down arrow, the up arrow, the left arrow. I can move that uh, cursor around anywhere I want to go using the arrow keys. But you'll see over to the left that we do have keyboard commands that allows us to do it without that. Some keyboards don't have arrows, or the arrows are uh, embedded in like so uppercase letters and a little less in, less convenient. You can still move the characters by just using the keyboard commands. Now you'll see over here the character movement. You'll see the C and the M. The C represents the control key. The M represents the escape key. So if I want to go backwards a character, I say control B and it goes back. And I'm holding the the control key down and hitting the lowercase b. I'm hitting the lowercase f while holding the control key down. That goes forward. Yeah, down over here you'll go to the beginning of the uh, next line is control N. That's the down arrow and control P is the up arrow. Now we can move a word and it's a little bit different. Okay, let's say I want to go to the forward a word. I hit escape F and you'll see it pops forward a word. It's different than the control key. <clears throat> excuse me, in that I don't hold the escape key down, I just hit it and then press the key itself and hit it and back, and go back and forward a word. Okay, I can go to the beginning of a sentence or backwards to the beginning of a sentence by hitting escape and A. Again, I'm not holding it down to the end of the sentence by hitting escape and E. Uh, I can go to the beginning of the paragraph by hitting escape and the left curly bracket and then escape and then uh, the right curly bracket to go to the uh, end of a paragraph. You can go backwards and forward to page two. The other ones that we use are down a little bit further. Scroll to the next screen is Control V, and Escape V is the previous page. Excuse me, Escape V is the previous page. But since we don't have a full screen, it doesn't go back and forth. But they're very useful commands. Okay. Um, you can also do other things like uh, go to a specific uh, line number or go to a specific character. This is useful when you're editing uh, source files and you've got a specific error at a particular line and a character number. Uh, very, very handy. The next thing I'd like to show you is uh, how to save a file. And that's over here. And you'll see over to the left hand side how to suspend Emacs and exit Emacs permanently. The very first thing you want to do is you want to save the file back to disk. That's usually this command right here is the control X and the control S. Let me actually go up here and make a change. Okay, and I'm just going to add a line right here. And I'm going to enter control X and control S. And you'll see at the bottom of the screen it says wrote to home faculty gatros wrote.txt. Okay. And that's the one you're going to use most often. Save file, which is control X and then just the character S. Uh, is useful if you've got a couple of files open, but it'll ask you which file you want to save. Another one that's very useful here is the Control X and I, which you can put the cursor in a particular place, like right here, and do a Control X and, and then an I, and it'll ask you what file you want to insert at that particular place. Okay. Um, the next thing you want to do is to exit Emacs. You can Control Z, but most of the time you're going to want to do this one right here, which is exit Emacs permanently. If you've saved all the changes, Control X and Control C, you'll see that it exits Emacs quite nicely. Okay, we'll go back into the file right here. Um, getting help, you can do uh, 
uh, control and escape V scrolls to help windows um, let's let's bring this up a little bit scroll it up a little bit okay. uh, searching is very very handy we want to uh, search for a word we can do a control s and say what do you want to search for we want to search for road okay or up to robert control s okay road there search roads uh, we can do a uh, we can scroll down now and we can do a search backwards uh, which is a control R and we can say let's look for grassy there it is Oops. Oops. now you notice I, I, I inadvertently hit the back space, back, uh, space key right here um, uh, and brought up another window this happens quite a bit uh, and the way to get rid of that is to do a control X and then one and you'll see it pops it away uh, so uh, we got rid of that extra window right there. Now um, the uh, other thing we like to do is uh, uh, it, cutting and pasting, which is a, a little tricky. Which is a little tricky. Um, first of all, let me show you delete. Okay, don't hit the backspace key. Don't hit the backspace key. Let me repeat that. I'm going to uh, type in uh, some more text right here so uh, I can. Uh, uh, get rid of rid of it. Okay. Now I'm going to move the arrow key right here, and I'm going to hit the delete key itself, and you'll see that it deletes the previous character. If I put it over the I and hit the delete key, you'll see that it leaves the I alone. It deletes the previous character. Okay. So it deletes in reverse. Okay. If I want to do that in the forward, okay. I can use a keystroke uh, character. I can say Control D, and you'll see that it deletes the character that I'm sitting on top of at that particular point. I can delete words by going up here and saying uh, Escape D, and you'll see it deletes the um, uh, it deletes the uh, word in back. Let me put it right here. I'm going to hit Escape D again, and you'll see that it deleted the next word over. Um, and I can hit the escape delete key and it deletes the previous character so uh, escape D the letter D uh, one forward and the escape the delete key deletes the one previously okay um, I can delete to the end of the line by doing a control K control K which is very uh, uh, very useful also and let me move this over so you can actually see it yeah and then uh, to uh, to the end of the line is uh, Escape O and Control K. Don't use that one too often. Okay, it's Escape O and then Control K. Okay. Yes, Escape Zero. Excuse me, Escape Zero Control K. There you go. It's the beginning of life. That's a zero right there. And then I can delete an entire sentence using a control X and then the delete key and then uh, to the backward and then forward is uh, an escape K. Okay. Now um, let me go ahead and, and get rid of this. I'm using the delete key to, to back it up here. Very good. All right. Now uh, before I go into killing a region or deleting a region, I want to show you how to do uh, a mark set. So. I'm going to again uh, type in some additional text here so I can delete it or cut or paste period okay now I'm going to go up here and put the cursor right above that and I'm going to do uh, I'm going to mark uh, this particular spot which is a, a control and shift and then I'm going to get the add sign right there okay so you see at the bottom it says mark set now I'm going to move the cursor okay. now that area is selected and anything that has to do with selecting an area uh, allows me to work with it well, one of the things I like to do with it is to uh, is to uh, cut it which in this case is called a kill region you go up here and look at its kill region it's control W kill the region now not only have I deleted it uh, but I can actually paste that back in there and that is with the control Y right here I can paste it back in so cutting and pasting uh, works uh, works pretty well 
You can also do a lot of marking. You can mark the paragraph, a page, uh, a function, or a buffer. But the other thing we find uh, very, very handy to do is, uh, and let me move this uh, over here, is in formatting uh, the upper and lower case capitalized words. Okay, so if I move the um, cursor into here, for instance, right here, <coughs> excuse me, if I say uh, escape one, boom, oops. Let me move the cursor in front of a word. I want to show you a little little trick with this. Okay, I'm going to put the uh, character right there, and I'm going to say I want to make that an uppercase word. I put it right on the beginning of the word itself, and say escape U for upper. Now I can do that with any word. Uh, I'm going to do travel right here. I'm going to say escape U for upper, and it, it does the whole word. I'm going to move it back to the beginning of the word, and I'm going to do escape L for lower. But I want you to notice something else. If I move the cursor right in the middle of the word, and I say escape U, it only um, puts the uppercase word from the point of the cursor to the end of the word. So you have to be very careful. You want to do the whole word uh, itself. I'm going to do an escape the lower to lowercase this letter right here. Uh, I can also uh, uh, uppercase an entire region. Okay, and um, and we go up here and we select the region. I mark it with the uh, control, the at sign. Okay, and then I can do uh, control uh, X, control U, and you'll see it, it uppercases the uh, whole region. I can lowercase the whole region also. I'll go up here and mark it again, and then uh, it is uh, control X and control L for our lowercase. Okay. Um, the uh, uh, couple of other things that you can do, and I'll just kind of show them to you. Again, this GNU reference card is a very, very handy thing to do. Um, you can actually, uh, uh, formatting is uh, inserting new line after points, a very handy thing to do. Or indent for a comment, also a very handy thing to do. Um, I think this kind of covers uh, most everything. Uh, there's a wealth of commands in Emacs, but uh, uh, the other thing you can do is you can do a, a spell check, which is uh, on the next page of this uh, card. There's another uh, page of the card. The spelling checker is, uh, um, let's see, oh, it's uh, to the left here. Yeah, there we go. Spell checking is escape dollar sign. Okay, I've not tried it on this particular version. Let's let's give it a shot here. Let's see, uh, escape and then shift and dollar sign. Yep, there it goes. Does correct. It'll check each individual uh, uh, word as you put it over. Well, I hope this helps you. Um, this is a, a, a fairly comprehensive uh, demonstration of Emacs. The 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 basic portions of it that you'll need to actually create a file. Uh, play this video over as many times as you need and I hope it helps you. Okay, so we're going to save this, control X, S, and then we're going to get out, control X and C, and say goodbye to you. Have a good day.